Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second part of the mini-series of Liverpool's defending corner routines and in this case specifically how they defend against short corners and where the weaknesses are in their ranks. So let's start off by looking at this corner of Liverpool against Bournemouth. Bournemouth are really attacking an intelligent set-piece team and we look at the way that they set up this short corner. Liverpool send one player out, which is number 15, Oxley chamberlain to defend the short corner in case that there's a short corner and they just play a 1-2. And in this case, there's two players there against one, which means that they should be able to play out if they decide to. There we highlight Oxley chamberlain and now we highlight the players in the box. So we've got one in the six-yard box, one just outside the six-yard box, and two just inside, in between the penalty spot and the edge of the box, with two players supporting on the edge, meaning that there's two players out of our view. When we put it into the 3D stadium, we can start to see now where the positioning of the players are. I've added in one of the extra players, so you can see that there's a three against one developing with Oxlade Chamberlain. So when the ball is played out, how do Liverpool react? So remember, there's a three against one situation developing with Oxlade Chamberlain. And now they all push out really quickly, try to get to the edge of the box as quick as they can. And this is where Liverpool have potential problems. If a ball comes in over this area here, over the defence, then Liverpool quite often get caught out as the only real defensive minded player in these situations is Virgil van Dijk. So when that ball comes over, three or often four players try to run in behind the advancing Liverpool defence who are trying to push out to the edge of the box. And when that ball comes in, it's a dangerous opportunity for the opposition if they stay onside. So here we can see those players all making it run into the box, trying to get in behind the defence. And we can see there that only Virgil van Dijk is dropping back into that defensive position to defend. The second short corner that we're going to take a look at is from Nuno Espiritu Santos, Wolverhampton Wanderers at home against Liverpool. Wolves created real problems for Liverpool with their short corners. And here's an example of such a corner. So we've got the same back line as always. However, because there's two players around the ball, Liverpool now are not staggered in their defensive line. They're more in a the line, they're not staggered like they would be if there was an outswinging corner. So it's important to mention that important change in the defensive structure. Now we can also see that one player's come out exactly the same as always from this position into there for the short corner. So Oxlade Chamberlain comes in as obviously, like we already mentioned, that there's a two against one situation in here, but also three against two in the wider area. So when the ball comes short, Liverpool's players immediately jump out to press. We can see that when the ball arrives to this player, that there is a possibility of playing the ball straight into here and then a ball behind that advancing defence from Liverpool. It's difficult to stay on side, so the Wolverhampton player in this case really has to push out quickly, look across the line and make sure that he's not offside from that high advancing, quickly pushing out Liverpool defence. At the moment that the ball is about to be crossed over, we can see there that possibly three players from Wolverhampton are offside and that one player at the back post is not offside and it's him that is going to run in and it's that player at the back post who's going to create the problems for Liverpool. We can see that that defence from Liverpool are all pushed out at different speeds and the three players in the middle, Van Dijk, Firmino and Gomez, are all pushed out a little bit further ahead than Mane, Robertson on the opposite side and Van Aldrin. So when that ball comes over, those three players in the middle need to get in to defend quickly. So again, when the ball is chipped over, you can see that if that ball there comes across and he just heads it back to one of those three players who were before on offside but in the second phase are not offside, Liverpool have a real problem because only Van Dijk is coming into defensive positions, all the rest of the players on the edge of the box. So it's a really difficult situation for Liverpool to defend if that player at the back post stays onside. When we take a look at the 3D stadium, we can see the positioning of defenders inside the six-yard box instead of being staggered like they used to. Why is this? That's because they've got two players for the short corner instead of one who is taking an outswinging corner. So as we mentioned, one player jumps out to play against the short corner. There's a two against one situation there. 
And of course a three against one situation in here. When the ball is taken and it's a short corner is played, Liverpool tried to push out to the, to the box like we already mentioned. And that's where we said that this kind of corner where a pass is played into here to one of those players that is looking across the line, that there's a potential advantage there. When the ball is eventually played, there's three players in the middle of the pitch who are potentially offside. And when we look at it from this position, we can see that definitely two of them are offside, potentially three. And at the top of your screen, there's a player there at the top, just playing on the shoulder of the defence, and he is not offside. So when that ball comes over, he's the danger man to be able to play the ball back across those three players inside the box. So when that ball is played over, you can see now the opportunity for that header across the goal and have a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper. And just like I mentioned, Virgil van Dijk, the only defender, dropping back into the box to defend, whilst the rest of the team has already moved out looking to create a counter-attack situation when the goalkeeper will get the ball. This is a corner from the Liverpool against Southampton game. The ball is played all the way back into here. And Liverpool now are going to push out really quickly to try and get to the edge of the penalty area. And they do that to try and keep all the players inside the penalty area from Southampton offside. When the ball gets to this position here, those two players are already offside. Like I mentioned in the previous clip, they will be offside if the ball comes back into here. And Liverpool pressing out to the edge of the box. That's exactly what happens. Ball comes in and they're offside. And that is the reason why Liverpool press out so quickly to try and prevent that short corner from being a danger. This corner from Atletico Madrid against Liverpool, a short corner play in where they then play a second pass out and Liverpool tried to press the edge of the box. Here we can see all those players about to press the edge of the box and try and keep Atletico Madrid offside. By the time the ball arrives at this player here to be able to put the ball across into the penalty area, we can see that four players are inside the box from Atletico Madrid at the moment he strikes the ball and all of Liverpool's players are on the edge of the box. So that's their reference point get to the edge of the box and the ball comes outside and keep everyone inside the box offside. This corner that we're taking a look at now is from the World Club Cup. They've taken it short and now they're just going to play a pass out towards the edge of the box. And there's going to be these runs, try and look for the space in behind the Liverpool defence, a little chip ball over and then try and play a ball across the box. Why? Because there's four players there who at the moment are offside. However, in the second phase of play, when a ball is passed over the top of the fence, they won't be offside and Liverpool would need to drop back in to cover those players. See there that Liverpool defensive line have pushed out and they're really high, leaving those four players offside. Okay, so here's that pass going into this space and now at this point there's five players who are offside. However, in the second phase, they're not going to be offside. The question is, how many of those are going to react to be on side for the second phase of play? You can see now at this point when the ball's come over that there's two players who have reacted and that they're not offside in this second phase. So any ball across here into that space and it's 1-0 to Flamengo. The pass was poor and it gave a Liverpool defender enough time to get back in and defend. However, any ball on the floor in that space instead of in the air gives Liverpool no chance to stop that. So that is a very dangerous corner routine against Liverpool. This corner is similar to the ones that we've seen before where the ball comes in short. One Liverpool player goes out for it. They play it onto the edge of the box. Liverpool press all the players out to the edge of the box. The person who goes for the short tries to force the ball into that player and prevent it coming into the players that have just given it. So therefore cutting two players out. But obviously when the ball comes in, this player has now taken a touch to steady himself before playing that pass into this space. And we can see there, there are three players moving into that space who are not offside at the moment that that ball is kicked. So Liverpool are leaving all that space there free for any cross and a great opportunity to score for Aston Villa. So at this moment here, look at where the Liverpool players are. There's four players from Aston Villa, one of whom was offside, but the other three were not offside and any of those three able to make a contact is a great opportunity to score against Liverpool. And in the end, it goes wide and all of those players missed the ball. This is a slightly different corner. This time they play it short and then to the edge of the box like we've seen before. Again, one player coming out 
And what they're going to try and do, Leicester City, is play the pass back into the player number three and then cross the ball into the area. So that's their routine. When the ball is played short, we can see now that Liverpool players are starting to press out towards the edge of the box. And keep your eyes on Sadio Mane because he's going to move inside and prevent that pass coming into the runner. Making sure he blocks that pass and forcing the ball into wide areas. Because when the ball's in the wide areas, that's when Liverpool push up to the same level as that player, therefore keeping everyone offside who's behind the defensive line and behind that player. Forcing that player into either crossing the ball in to an offside teammates, or he would have to then drive in himself, giving Sadio Mane the opportunity to get back and defend it. That leaves him with two options, either to chip the ball straight in or to play the ball back out. So like I've mentioned here, we can see that Sadio Mane is now preventing that pass coming inside to that player. He's blocking off that pass and forcing the ball now wide, especially with Salah pressuring number eight and preventing him from chipping the ball into the area. He has to come wide. And look at how high the Liverpool defence is, now pressing three players in offside positions. So when the ball is played into that player, you can see now that the Liverpool defensive line is in line with number three therefore preventing number three from crossing the ball into the players in the middle of the box because they're all offside. And that gives them only one option. Take a touch in towards the penalty area and try and cross the ball into those three players who in the second phase wouldn't be offside. However, Sadio Mane is too quick and he gets in and prevents the cross coming in. A little bit dangerous diving in so close towards the edge of the box, but again, Although this was well defended, we can see that how this can be a danger for Liverpool with those players in the box, goal side of the Liverpool defenders, however, unable to get the cross in due to the speed of Sadio Mane in that second ball. The final example is one we've already seen. This time the ball is exactly the same, played short, one defender from Liverpool comes out to press the ball, force the ball out into the edge of the box, and this time he plays a first time cross. So Liverpool push out. And this time, the first time Cross comes into this area here, there's three players offside, but it's not him who's the danger. It's the one player who's breaking in between the line. No Liverpool block coming in onto that player. And therefore, if those three who are offside stay in that position, and only allow one the player moving in from behind the Liverpool line into that area, he's got a free shot on goal, and he will not be offside. Just to sum up a few things we've seen, when the ball's played short, Liverpool immediately start pressing out to try and get in line with the player who's received the ball. When that ball is then played into the other player, the Liverpool players move out as quick as they can, leaving as many players offside as possible. When the ball is into here, the two players who are responsible for the short corner and the edge of the area, the rebound zone, go into press. Liverpool's player who then went out for the short corner tries to block this pass inside, therefore forcing them either to into a cross into players who are supposedly in an offside position, or to play the ball out wide into this player where they hopefully have pushed up high enough to be in line with him, forcing every other player behind them to be offside. Therefore, preventing a quick cross coming in and allowing Sadio Mane, in the case that we've talked about, to be able to jump out and press. Options for the opposition's teams, well, we've already seen them. The early cross into the box, into the player who is not offside, these players should also be trying to come back from offside positions and block the defending Liverpool players. So blocking Virgil van Dijk, blocking Firmino, blocking Gomez, and therefore allowing the one player who's at the back post a free run, if he's not offside, a free run in against the goalkeeper. So that's the way that opposition teams can do danger to Liverpool with the short corners. They're well worked, however, it is very dangerous playing with such a high defensive line. A couple of other things is when this player is trying to receive the ball, he needs to try and receive the ball into the space. Try and receive it into here and not to feet. Because if the ball comes into feet, that gives Liverpool time to come in and press and Liverpool's defence time to make sure that they're keeping these players in offside positions. It's really important that, that this ball comes into here for him to move into. And it's also important for these players to get back into non-offside positions, try and be goal side, so not offside, but also try and get in front of these Liverpool defenders getting back. Therefore, any early cross coming in from here, and they are not offside, 
What I do like is this movement from Flamingo's short corner where this player made this arced run, trying to get in behind this high Liverpool defence. So just put the defenders a little bit higher. It doesn't matter the positions particularly, but it's this arced run which gets that pass in behind the defence from Liverpool. So arcing the run, getting behind, ball played over the top into his path. And then these players staying offside in the first phase and then the second phase not being offside to be able to make that run in. Important to stay in front of Liverpool defenders. I guess they weren't particularly switched on. Often these players too far high up into the box and therefore creating a good opportunity. So those are the three opportunities from corners, which short corners, which made Liverpool problems. If you like this analysis, please subscribe, turn on post notifications.